hi welcome back to my channel i am sister with a purpose thank you so much for liking this video and subscribing to the channel so today's message is going to be a channeled general message for those of you all who um resonate with the message please take heed okay because this was during yesterday and the day before yesterday i had several channelings so i wanted to make sure that i get them out um, I did not pull any cards during these channelings, but I do have everything written down that needs to be heard. And that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and tap in and see what spirit has for you. Thank you so much, most high divine relatives, divine guides, as well as higher self for clear communication and divine protection. <coughs> Excuse me. If there's someone watching my channel to just watch when I post and try to attack me or try to send energy my way when I post to get me to not post, fuck you and get off my shit. Because it's like every time I post a video, uh, shortly after the last few days, my throat is, it will just, I will start coughing uncontrollably out of nowhere. But of course, being a divine feminine, I stepped up my protection as well as, um, invest in other things that were um, take care of that situation but anyways let's go ahead and move forward so the title of this message all right and this is the main message here they tried attacking your purpose because they felt you didn't deserve it so basically we have a bunch of naysayers who don't know you they don't know your your journey they don't know the things you've been through as a child as a young adult, as an adult, they don't know shit. All they see is your success. All they see is the outcome, but they don't know what you went through in order to be where you at. And so now they sit in there mad because they think something had been given to you instead of earned. And even if it was given to you, that's not none of their motherfucking business. So this lets me know that I have and maybe even you too, Divine Feminine. A nosy karmic bitch who doesn't have anything to focus on in her own life to be happy about. So then they look at your life. They pry into your life, spy into your life. They see how good you're doing. And they think it's a piece of cake. But spirit is getting ready to awaken a lot of different individuals. Yes, it's a tower moment. It's a tower moment for a queen of cups. You could be a queen of cups. Let me go ahead and get all of the channeled messages out. And then I'm going to pull cards. I do have the queen of cups now here with the tower moment. It is a tower moment for a cancer Pisces Scorpio when it comes to you. The story of Noah in the Bible has a lot of significance. <clears throat> I heard spirit say Scrabble read the story of noah okay spirit also said you can become a devil or a god in your own right that is your birthright the moment you open your eyes on this earth you have the birthright to become a devil or a god within your own name name holds power Wherever your name is, you need to go figure out the meaning of your name. You need to decipher your name. Whatever the meaning of your name is, ask yourself, are you living in the energy of your name? Or is the energy of your name living in you? Meaning, are you a devil out here causing chaos living backwards? Are you a God out here doing what the fuck you're supposed to do in your purpose? I also channeled, <clears throat> I got my name from property. I know if my grandma was here, I know she would be proud of me. That is a verse out of a future song. Okay. I also channeled that friends are a distraction to you finding your purpose. So divine feminine, there is someone in your energy. You have a group of friends or a friend. I don't know who this message is for. Cause I don't even have many friends. I don't. I don't have people I call friends. I either fuck with you and you family to me, or are you just associate that I know. I've associated myself with you in some point in my life, but currently, no one can step to you, divine collective, and tell you anything about me 
as a friend because they ain't my motherfucking friend. I don't have friends, okay? But spirit said, <clears throat> excuse me, friends distract you from finding your purpose. A distraction to chase a feeling rather than study study the dynamics and cycles of our personal journey and or our mission here on earth. I'm also channeling the greatest show on earth in Future's Voice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I feel that there's a lot of you all who are going to play an important role in this world in the future. Spiritually. But you got to know. Whatever your purpose is, no one can take from you. Spirit wants you to know. Someone wants to separate your growth in your imagination. If you have not daydreamed, if you have not sat and visualized what you want today, I don't give a fuck if you, I don't care if it's, oh, I want $2 billion <clears throat> and Kevin Durant is my baby daddy. We go on to the Moldiva and we get married. You know what? It don't matter anything. It doesn't matter. Spirit is also telling me there's a lot of divine feminine energy who has been doing everything they supposed to do except <clears throat> heighten their imagination. Daydream, daydream, daydream. I also read that... <clears throat> What you want or the thoughts of dreams while you're awake. I, damn, I am saying it wrong. Can't even say it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But basically, what I had got from the message was your dreams that you think of, your thoughts while you are, are a lot, uh, while you are awake are your are your dreams or some shit like that. Hey, damn, I just, I fucked it up, huh? <laughs> but basically, it's the message was saying daydream. Take heed to what needs to be done and continue to daydream. All right? Don't allow someone to subconsciously implant an idea that daydreaming is dangerous. Okay? Because when you allow someone to do that, you're stripping yourself of your imagination. And your imagination is all of that gray stuff that is going to allow your subconscious to bring it about in your reality. All right. <clears throat> but yeah, someone could be uh, attacking your solar plexus and your throat chakra. So those protection um, rituals for your solar plexus and your throat need to be heightened. All right. And I also channeled the message um, spiritually raping someone through the use of subliminal programming. So some of you all could be feeling like maybe the government, maybe something you're watching, maybe. Um, someone you're around could be spiritually raping you, okay, through the use of subliminal programming. So make sure you step up um, your third eye protection as well. And um, this is, you know, this is just a general message, a general channeled message. I have no goal here. I just wanted to make sure I shared this message with you because spirit had put it on my heart all that day and it kept coming. I'm coming, baby. Hold on. <clears throat> Okay, and, I, and that's the thing I'm talking about. I feel like life demanding you and constantly calling you and pulling you in different directions. The spirit is saying, take time out and visualize what you want. Okay, and, and know you, who your purpose is. Who? For some of you all, being with a particular person, having these children, these angels, these star seeds, these earth angels. Spirit said, the moment you lay eyes on this person, you're going to know you and this person have a mission. You need to stay connected. Your crown chakra needs to be protected because spirit is coming to you directly with this type of message. Okay. I'm going to read a few more channelings and I'm going to pull some cards and we're going to be done with this uh, reading. All right. And I channeled this at 720 a.m. on June 20th. All right, that could be of significance for some of you all. So Spirit wanted me to say that. All right, so the other channeled messages I have, and, and it, it did include me, but I do want to say them here in this video because we are all divine feminine and we're all vibrating in the same energy. So this could be of importance to you as well. 
The first message was, I was connected to my purpose. Second, I have a beautiful purpose. What she did to your future is connected to your past. She wasn't used to it. Guys, these are all random messages that I was hearing. Her spirit is looking for your energy. Your energy is purpose. And who and the person that's looking for your energy is of Mexican descent. A Latin woman is looking for someone and she was using your energy for her purpose. Some type of Latin woman could be a practitioner. Because as I cut the deck, I got Page of Pentacles and the Magician with the Seven of Wands and the Fool with the Chariot. So, yeah, there could be someone of Latin descent, Mexican descent that is looking for you. Your, your, uh, your purpose was to be an energy mule for for this purpin this purpin god damn what's this i was getting ready to say this person serpent so oh bitch as soon as i cut the deck i seen the lovers and the goddamn uh snake so someone you were connected to romantically could have uh did some type of matrix neo shit to where they hooked you up energetically to siphon energy from you. And they could have used a uh, practitioner to get this done. I also channeled, they've been using my energy for their purpose. And then right after that, I heard, oh, she's psychic. After that, I heard we lost her connection to the earth. Keyword, her. Okay, I heard this shit loud and clear. We lost her connection to the earth. Why do you hate on her? This is a masculine voice now, guys. I heard a masculine voice say, why do you hate on her? I also heard a masculine voice say, you a groupie. I also heard a feminine. We're going back to feminine. This is the last message I heard. She's listening to her perspective. So there, and this was a feminine energy telling a masculineness. So this goes back to to the message about a masculine going to a practitioner to use you as an energy uh, as an energy battery they're going to drain your energy they were using your energy to fuel their ambitions their goals their materialistic yep king of pentacles could have been a capricorn taurus virgo who um employed a pisces cancer scorpio yeah who's now spying yeah Heavy on the Scorpio Cancer energy. Okay, that practitioner, she's having a tower moment. Realizing something. Realizing that you're stable. That you're the queen of pentacles. And that you, yeah, that knight of pentacles. And that the person that she did this work for was the knight of pentacles in reverse. And this is why. The energy can no longer be used. This is why the, the energy... Is lost that connection to the earth that you have that they thought that they were going to use has now been lost with the knight of cups here the three of swords and the eight of wands in reverse six of wands in reverse justice in reverse okay king of swords in reverse there's a lot of goddamn reversals ten of pentacles in reverse nine of swords knight of swords page of wands god damn Page of Swords upright. Empress, the Empress in reverse. The High Priestess upright. So yeah, 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 yeah. This person went towards someone and it fuck it, it's fucking it up. It fucked them up and it's fucking them up. I feel that it has returned to sender on both this practitioner, this masculine, and whatever feminine that's involved. That is in a Queen of Swords energy. All right, Divine Feminine, all is well. This is the reading, all right? Love and light. I'll share until next time. Be well. Bye.